similar triangles and trigonometry basics. Now, what is trigonometry? At some point, you're going to run into it. In this case, these, uh, this video is part of a grade 10 series. Trigonometry, so the tri, so which is three, um, is basically the study of relationships between angles and the sides in a triangle. And in particular, when you're just beginning, it will describe the relationships between right angles. So here you have two right angles. Let's assume that they're similar, which means that the angles are the same. Now, I will utilize for angles theta. Now this theta you're going to see more over as you continue studying. So you should get used to this Greek letter. Okay, it will basically designate an angle or the size of an angle. And I'm going to put the theta here as well. Now, because these are right triangles, they are basically similar. And we know a few things about similar triangles. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to designate, let's call this triangle one, and let's call this triangle number two. And I'm going to label all the sides. And I'm going to do it on, on purpose here that I'm going to call this side, which is basically adjacent to this theta, I'm going to call this the adjacent side. So that's going to be the length of that particular side. And because it's my first triangle, I'll just call it A1. So that's going to be the adjacent side to the theta. Now the opposite side to that angle theta. So the opposite side I'm going to call here. So O going to put a one because that's going to be to the first triangle. And then because it's a 90 degree triangle, and then this is your hypotenuse. So hypotenuse. And again, I'm going to put a subscript one because it's just my triangle one. Now I can do the same thing on my other triangle. So I'm going to call this the adjacent side. Again, this is the adjacent because it is adjacent right to the angle itself. And I'm going to call this two because that's my second triangle. And I'm going to do this. So this is going to be the opposite side of that theta of that angle. It's going to be two. And then this is going to be my hypotenuse two. Now, these are similar triangles. They're not congruent triangles. So they're not identical, but they're similar, which means all the angles are the same. Now, what do we know about similar triangles? Well, we know about ratios between all of their different sides. We know that their angles are all the same. And here it's pretty easy to deduce that because you have a 90 degree angle and then you have a theta, which I'm going to assume that is basically the same. So then the other angle on the opposite corner there is basically so here. So this angle right here and this angle right here, they're also the same. Now, as I said, so we know these relationships between all the different sides so the ratios between them. For instance, I know that A1 divided by okay, A2. So for example, if I'm going to be taking these two, then it's going to be equivalent to the ratio because they are just similar, which means they're proportional to each other. For example, okay, the opposite one over the opposite number two. So those are going to be exactly the same. And then the ratio also is going to be the same between your hypotenuse right there. So H1 divided by H2. So these ones are all the same. Now, what's interesting, and because of this trigonometry, which is the study of these angles and sides, we like to have a particular relationship, you know, so I can, for instance, take so this right here, I'm going to copy and duplicate it. And I'm going to kind of shift it around. And notice that what I can do here is because I know that this ratio is identical. So if I can manipulate this a little bit, so I'm going to leave the a one over here, and divide it by I'm going to take the this okay, bring it down here. So kind of do a cross multiplication, as you can see. So then I'm going to bring the a two up to the numerator. And then this is going to be O2. So this ratio 
is equivalent and then so is this ratio so these two ratios are equivalent so this is kind of adjacent over the opposite sides so again it's just the lengths of of those particular sides now this um, adjacent over opposite is actually pretty interesting in trigonometry so it's a ratio which is very common that we want to be able to know and so if i go back in here so again so just a reminder so this is your opposite side and then this is your adjacent side right here um, and then here so this is your opposite right there and then this is your adjacent right there so that that's what you have there and i'm just saying that those ratios are identical because these are similar triangles so now when you're studying trigonometry these are the things that you kind of have to get a very good grasp of which means you have to understand similar triangles and then from those similar triangles you know you're going to start building on all of these different relationships that you have now i could have also taken so right here so i could have taken for instance this right here okay so i can duplicate this and i can create another relationship here so notice if i manipulate that so for instance i can get opposite over hypotenuse one is equal to the opposite okay over hypotenuse two um, which means that so this comes from the first triangle this is coming from the second triangle and because of the similarity the proportions and then the relationships of the ratio is the same this is opposite over hypotenuse right so i can do that now i can also do the same thing if i take for instance you know the adjacent and then I'll do the hypotenuse, so the last one right here. And that's going to give me my last kind of ratio or proportion that I'll have in here. So if I manipulate this, then what I'm going to get is that I have that. So these are three particular relationships that you have between similar triangles. Now again, I am assuming that I am working with a 90 degree triangle in here. So a right angle triangle. Now, that's all that I wanted to introduce in this particular video in terms of similar triangles and then the trigonometry basics. Okay, so these opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, so depending on your angle that you have, these are gonna play a very crucial role. Um, and we're gonna be defining these things uh, slowly as we go along, all right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you in a future video. Bye, everybody.